Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, just click the subscribe button and yung notif bell so that you'll get notified on our future videos just like this one. So in today's video guys, we're going to solve another random board problem. So this is number 5. So this is algebra, application of algebra. This problem, I think, is one of the most famous problems sa engineering board exam. So lahat ng engineering, nag-take ng engineering is na-encounter na nila itong problem na to. So this is an application of algebra age problem. So we have here, Mary is 28 years old. Mary is twice as old as Anne was when Mary was as old as Anne is now. How old is Anne now? So ayun, mukhang tang twister itong problem natin guys. So, sa unang tingin, sa unang basa, talagang hindi mo to magigets agad. But kung hihimay-himayin natin yung kada sentences or kada statement, masasolve natin itong problem na to. Now, the first step in solving an age problem is to make a table. Gawa ka ng table for the ages past, present, and future. So, inspect natin to guys. Is is present. We have here was. Okay, so is and was lang yung nandito. So, basically, ang table natin consists of only two columns. We have here the past and the present. Gawin natin yung table. Then, dito guys, sa kabila, ilalagay natin yung mga tao doon sa problem. So, here Mary and we have here Anne. So, dito guys, sa problem natin, sinabi that, uh, how old is Anne now? So, let X natin yung age ni Anne. So, age of Anne in the present. Okay? The present age of Anne. So, Mary is 28 years old. So, is yan guys. So, that is present. Ilalagay natin siya dito sa present. So, this is 28. That is the age of Mary sa present. So, Mary is 28 years old. Now, punta tayo guys sa second statement. Mary is twice as old as Anne was. Okay? So, yun ang titingnan natin. So, ibig sabihin nito guys, yung edad ni Mary sa present, kasi Mary is present, is dalawang beses na mas marami sa edad ni Anne nung past niya. Because this is was. So, if the present age of Mary is 28, so, twice ito noong age ni Anne Noon. So, that is Anne was. Okay. So, if this is 28, yung edad ni Anne nung past is divided by 2 lang natin yan. So, that is 14. Okay. So, nasatisfy natin itong second statement. Then, itong when is just a separator. Sineparate niya lang itong other statement. Okay. So, Mary was as old as Anne is now. Okay. So, yung past age daw ni Mary is equal yun sa present age ni Anne. Now, let x natin yung present age ni Anne as x equal daw yan doon sa past age ni Mary. So, eto guys, i-equate lang natin yung time interval. So, 28. So, 28 minus x. So, time interval sa age ni Mary should be equal sa time interval sa age ni Anne. So, that is x minus 14. Then, perform algebra. Okay, add tayo ng x both sides. So, this becomes 28 so, equal. So, this is x minus 14 plus x. Add tayo ng 14 both sides. So, this becomes uh, 28 plus 14 equal. So, we have here x plus x. So, that is 2x. Then, this gives us, we have here 2x equal. So, this is 42. Then, divide both sides by 2. So, that gives us the present age of Anne, which is 42 over 2 or x equals 21. So, therefore, the present age of Anne in this problem is 21 years old. So, that's how you solve this type of problem. So, pag na-encounter nyo tong problem, guys, sa board exam, so, ganito lang siya isolve. So, you need to actually understand yung mga wordings natin or yung mga words na ginagamit as a keyword whether it is past or present. So, basically, if is, that is present. Pag was, that is past. So, may ginagamit din tayo for future like hence, that is future or let's say 3 years from now. So, from now is future. Then, in 3 years, ganon. So, mga in. So, yung word na in, let's say in 3 years, that is on the future. So, you need to look on those uh, words in order for you to actually construct your table in each problem. So, that's it for today's video guys. I hope that you have learned from this video again and I hope that subscribe ka na sa channel na to para wala kang ma-miss na future videos. Thank you guys. Stay safe and God bless you all.